What is going on guys, one more Superman guys, a brand new video. I'm going to be doing a little run through of the writing of every single song on the album Sweet Story of Mine, the deluxe version. This is something I really wanted to do in the podcast. We got to talk about a lot of the writing of the whole album, the story of the production of the album, and the writing of a couple of the songs. But I really want to make a video where I just kind of give a few seconds to really talk about every song individually. So this is what this video is going to do. We're going to have a timer, and every 30 seconds, I have to wrap it up and move on to the next song so it's gonna be 10 minutes total me just talking about the writing of the music of the album and what each song is about yeah we're just gonna get this timer going and let's rock all right we're starting off with signs signs was the kickoff to the entire sweet story of mine era as we talked about in the podcast it was kind of the song that made me realize wait what what am i feeling inside the song is about you can't ignore what life throws at you and sometimes we think we know our situations better than what they are and Sometimes we just need to let our guard down and what life shows us, we just got to take those opportunities and see the signs. That went by really quick. Okay, In My Head. In My Head was written in November. It was the song that I wrote to kind of balance the album out between happy and sad songs. It was really tough to go back and write because I had to really put myself back in that headspace of when I was really happy in that time. Uh, But it's really a song about when you have that feeling in in your mind and in your heart that you want to pursue something you're like you know can this be something or is this just something I'm building on my head and by the song and you kind of realize it's something I really want so fast you keep me going so you keep me going was one of my favorite songs that I wrote from the get-go um it was in a time where I got into a wreck and just a couple things are compounding on each other and that song is to me about always having that rock having something in your life that you can always turn to in the rough times when you need a shoulder to cry on or a reason to wake up in the morning and get going it's just really a song just talking about appreciating having that uh that staple in your life so, and they keep you going with a lot of disco influence half a man half a man is a song i wrote after going to see the jonas brothers in concert uh one of the songs that kelsey ballerini who was the opener performed really made me want to write this song it's about how sometimes in life especially for me personally sometimes we feel like we have to be really independent in how we live and how we carry ourselves and you know uh sometimes we we can you know share that life and not have to do everything alone and we can depend on someone else and I also skipped Small Moments. So Small Moments was a fun song I wrote during the summer, specifically for the deluxe version. It was a song where we got to talk about the Easter eggs behind the album a little bit. But it's really talking about how I operate in a relationship situation. It's about just appreciating even the smallest of moments. You know, everyone, you know, you think about the anniversaries, the milestones, the first this, the first that. And to me, I really appreciate just the small moments, like a small conversation at the end of the day, just talking about your day. Something about that's just super special to me, and I appreciate those moments. All right, Find a Truth. We are rocking and rolling through this. So Find a Truth is a really fun pop song I wrote. Um, when things were getting a little shaky with that situation, and you're just kind of like, you know, where do we stand? Where do we go? And just trying to make sure everything is communicated and make sure everything is straightforward and that you really just leave everything on the table and make sure that nothing is left unstated and you're just trying to find the truth and trying to find where you stand you're willing to take a heartbreak if it means you know the truth so sandbox sandbox is a really fun song so i wrote it using a couple of lyrics from the unreleased jonas Brothers song sandbox from their unreleased 2013 album five and it was really fun incorporating some of those lyrics in there and the idea of their version of the song was a loss of like innocence and emotion and so for me it was emotional innocence and being in a situation and you don't know which direction to take it and sometimes you know where you need to go but then that one thought enters your mind and you're like I don't know and you're kind of jumbled in the sandbox of emotions communication it's pretty straightforward um I was told early in the writing that it was a guy's anthem so you're welcome uh guys um the song is just really straightforward it's about you know you want to know if someone's all right. You want to know if everything's okay. You're just you want some communication. That's what the song's about. It's just saying, how can I know where we are if we're not if there's no clear two way communication, and just want some damn communication, man. Ghosted. Ghosted is a song I wrote in the summer specifically for the deluxe album. It's a really fun like house pop song that I really enjoyed writing with a lot of ghost puns. And for that song, it was really just about 
um, you know, where everyone knows it's a feeling of what it's like to be ghosted. And I made a joke that I also ghosted someone after the situation, so I couldn't really be too sad about it. So I, I kind of wrote a joke song about it. So it was really fun to really just be like, we got ghosted. I got ghosted. But you know what? It's it's fine. Um, Peace of My Heart. Peace of My Heart is a really fun song. Um, Not a fun song. It's a sad song. But the writing of it was really fun. The lyric, uh, House with Empty Walls, to me was really special because... To me, that lyric was saying, when you build a relationship, you're building kind of like the structure. And, you know, everything you do together, you're slowly building that. And then when everything falls apart, it's like you're moving out of a house. It's like that house is just bare. It's empty walls. Like, you don't, know, you almost don't even recognize what it is anymore. So that's what Peace of My Heart is. Tied Up. Tied Up was a song I wrote in December of 2021, uh, two days before Christmas. And uh, it was the first song I wrote with explicit lyrics for the album. And it was a really almost too real of a song that I didn't want to release it for a while. But over time, I decided, you know, the whole idea behind this album is to be real, be raw. So I decided to uh, put that song out. But it's really the song about you hope that other person is also feeling the same pain in their mind that you are because you're just stuck with that thought of them. Next song is Giving You Up, pretty much the theme song to the album, especially the first version of the album, you know pretty much it references the release date in the song the 23rd night of september like i said we don't talk take that with what you will but that song's just a really fun uh, pop song a lot of inspiration from the weekend and really just like this power pop ballad about just saying i don't want to give this up but i know i'm not going to be any better myself if i keep trying to hold on so i've been left with no choice got to give it up scars scars was a really fun song we all know the story about how i wrote it coming home from the washington football team game um, but uh, that song is about just they say time heals on they say as time goes on you know you start to move on and things start to heal but in this time it really wasn't it was almost getting worse as time went on and it was result of stuff in my mind but it was also like that's a lie I'm still wearing these scars like I'm still like I see certain things and it just m- makes me think of that person and it just brings on the scars play your cards play your cards was the last song written for the album in November of last year it's a song pretty much saying so much time has passed uh why does this situation be brought up back being brought back up again and just a really fun rock punk song that I really just enjoy making really got to vocally stretch myself and it was really cool to just let it all out in that song and it's been so much fun I can't wait to form that one live because that is such a special song Force to Forget I think it's one of the most underrated songs on the album it's one of my favorites to listen to I think uh, it just sounds so good and the things I did vocally and it's really cool but I think it's that idea of when you leave a situation you almost had the feeling of I got to forget everything because you got to move on you need a clean slate and I'm like no you can learn from that you can you don't have to forget everything that happened just because it's over um, you know, enjoy and embrace those good moments that happen because they shape you into the next person that you'll be. Next, next is pretty straightforward. It's talking about the excitement and almost the spitefulness of finding the next person, and you hope that that next person is better than the one that you just ended things with. And it's about you know just saying that you hate the way things were handled, but now you got to move on to the next person, and you're just hoping that that next person is really just stand out and. Almost like that part of you want to make the other person jealous a little bit. I think the song really hints at that. Um, but it's a really fun song to make and got my friends involved in it. Uh, Peace. Peace was the second to last song written for the album. It's a little rough around the edges in some of the lyrics. But uh, it uh, I love it. Uh, I think it's a beautiful sounding song. It was really fun to write. It was really um, therapeutic to write. And it was just a song saying, you know, we, we go back and forth with this. And a lot of he said, she said stuff and at the end of the day like why can't we just let it all go and let's just have peace uh, what i never knew is one of my favorite songs on the album it came after a late night conversation with me and my buddy jay where we were reflecting on our relationships over the past year and i just realized even though the situation didn't go how i wanted it to there's so much i learned out of it and in that time i learned i learned what it felt like to love again i learned what it felt like to fall and i learned what it felt like to have to come back from that and I think that was an I think that was just an invaluable experience and I um, couldn't be more thankful that I got to experience it anytime anytime is such a special song I wrote it after seeing Elvis it's about telling my future fans that you know 
whatever you're going through, whatever's going on in your life, I'm in your corner and I will be there for you anytime, anywhere. Just let me know and I'm right there. But it's also to the album as a whole with saying, look, what happened happened. I don't, that doesn't affect anything anymore. Let's just, if you need anything, I'm there. And uh, last but not least, One of a Kind. One of a Kind was a song I wrote because I did not want the album to end with Giving You Up. I thought it needed a more happier ending. And it's just a song where I just, I just be like, look, regardless of how things turn out, it doesn't change the person that I am, the person that you are. And it's just about that you're thankful that this situation also gave you an album and gave you a whole story to tell. And that's why I love that it ended with, I gotta thank you for giving me this sweet story of mine. Holy cow. So that went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. But I hope you guys enjoyed going through every single song on the album to a small extent. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit more about the album. Like I said, if you want to learn more, go to the Genius pages. You can see all the lyrics there and a couple of... Uh, stories about each song that I've wanted to put out there. Make sure if you want to hear more about the album, go check out the Sweet Talking Podcast episode one. We're going to have a new episode coming soon talking about the new music. Go check out the album and be on the lookout for my videos tomorrow because we're going to have a busy day tomorrow. We are reacting to Miley Cyrus's brand new album, Endless Summer Vacation, and the new song featuring Nick Jonas that was surprised announced this week. Uh, I can't pronounce the first part, but I know the second part's Afterlife. I'm super excited to react to that. So I hope you guys tune into that tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you are notified every time I upload a brand new video to the channel. We got a bunch of stuff. Next week's going to be a big week, so just get ready. And we're just going to be kicking off a bunch of new, new music, new YouTube videos. And I'm super excited just to hit the ground running even more. All right, I'm with Morris and I'm out. Peace. Why you gotta play your cards, trying to tear me apart? We're back at the start, trying to break our hearts. I don't understand why you had to play your cards.